It, des it describes the Nero Leagues, um, which their players didn't make much money. They had a hard life on the road. They were very good, and people came to see them, but they had a real tough life. Okay. Did she already say they didn't make much money? Yes. yes. Okay, then I... That's all. Okay. Laws against seg segregation. Segregation didn't exist in the 1940s. In many places in this country, black people were not allowed to go to the same schools and churches as white people. The reading trio strategy was initially developed by Ed Gickling. Students work in groups of three. One reads, one retells, and one checks the accuracy of the retailer. This is an excellent strategy for nurturing students' reading comprehension in an inclusive setting. Reading trios are valuable in two important ways. The first is that they're a great way to keep kids, all kids, engaged in the reading process. The reader is engaged, of course. The retailer is more engaged than they might otherwise be if there wasn't a checker. And the checker is engaged because they kind of want to catch the retailer missing something. So you have really great levels of student engagement. The second reason this strategy is valuable is that it provides meaningful roles for poor or non-readers. So they can be actively involved in the reading, even if it's not on their grade level. Change the way blacks were treated. Uh, well, and many people uh, were against the way black men were treated and stuff, but they were afraid to do something about it, like like Martin Luther King, and so because they thought they would maybe like get hurt or something, die. So Funny they thing, that did he miss anything, or he pretty much said it all? He pretty much said it all. Yeah, I think so too. 